Team Nasen Sharp Medium Robin Ack I just start talking. Like, we don't. This doesn't need to be any more interview questions. I can just start fucking bawling. I can go for hours just talking about random bullshit. Um. Did you know nuclear energy is actually really cool? It gets a really, really bad rep for, like, you know, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, but in a controlled environment, it's actually really, really fucking cool. And I know what you're gonna say, oh, well, what about what about Ukraine's um Chernobyl? Chernobyl. Well, the, that was the Russians fucking 35, 60 years ago. That shouldn't apply to now. Um, the Russians used no safety measures. All the safety measures were really shitty. They used graphite tip rods, which is terrible. And you can't point at Chernobyl for every nuclear incident. Because here's something that's fucked up. It was you, 39 years ago. I Well, fuck you. <laughs> it, you, you know uh, Three Mile Island, right? Yes. Three Mile Island, the meltdown, all that stuff? Yes. You know what's really fucking funny? Nothing happened. No. Three Mile Island, nothing happened. All the safety measures worked, and nothing blew up. There was no radiation leaked. It shut down, and it kept operating till 2019. Nothing happened at Three Mile Island. So the Russians and Ukrainians were just stupid then? Well, it's just, it, it was Soviet Union back then, to be fair. Oh, yeah. And they were really, really cheap, and they were a failing country. I'm not saying they're not failing now. I'm just saying they were especially failing back then. And they um, did a lot of really, really funky cuts. And, okay, that's how it works. This is why it blew up. Um, so you have the nuclear reactor. It's like a big pot, right? Yes. And let's say the pot's boiling and you want to cool it down. How do you cool it down? Well, you, you turn off flame, right? But what if flame is un, unquenchable? The flame will forever boil. Yeah. How do you make a, a pot of boiling water stop boiling? I don't know. Ice cubes. Don't tell me they tried using ice cubes. Okay, not not actually ice cubes. Oh, thank God. But the idea is for the nuclear reactor, you got a boiling pot, you throw in ice cubes to cool it down. Uh huh. And what the ice cubes were for a nuclear reactor is control rods. Big, like, literal rods that go up and down into the reactor. And the control rods will cool down the reactor and stop it from reacting. It's why they're called control rods. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, Chernobyl's reactor had control rods with graphite tips on them. Now, what are graphite tips? You probably think of, well, what's the fucking problem there? Well, it's pencil. It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, the problem with that is um, graphite has a really funny property where when you first put it into the nuclear reactor, it spikes the temperature before the rest of the rot hits it, and then it will cool it back down. So what happened with Chernobyl is their reactor was kind of, you know, getting up there in temperature. They're going, oh, we're good. we don't like that. So mm -hmm. they click the scurry button. The scurry button basically says, drop all the rods in, shut down the reactor. That is so dumb. And because all the reactors had graphite tips, they start going in and blew up. Oh my. <laughs> That's stupid. Nobody should do that. No reactors should be built like that. I want to point that out very clearly. We know not to do that. The Russians knew not to do that. They did it anyway because they wanted to cut money. They wanted to cut mm. budget. I, for another class, I had to watch a film called Babushkas of Chernobyl. Yes. And it was essentially about ladies who left or were removed because of the explosion. And then they just went back. Why? Because they were like, this is our homeland. We're, I want to die in okay, my home. Okay, that's kind of dumb. And I'm like, what? Why? Why I, would you want people, to? There are people like that who still, who still to this day live in Chernobyl. Yeah. It's like, why? It, why would you do that? Because they're like, the point? it's my home. I want to die in my home. And I'm like, I hope but you... But they're not that... They weren't that old when they went back, though. They were like... People... I know there's some people who were like 60, 70 who were there. The, it was like 39 years ago. They were like fucking 30. They had so much life left, and they were they like... They were like 80 when this movie came out. Oh, they were like 80? It was like 2011 that it came out. Wait, they went back 2011? No, they went back after the fact. Yes. But because it came out like in the early 2010s, so when they went back, they were in their 60s. The early 10s. The early 10s. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> you I, like... feel old yet? Early 10s. I don't remember that much. I, 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 I really only remember the 2020s. I... This past recent decade is the only decade I actually really remember. Yeah. Because everything before that was just fucking... That, I was a smooth brain kid. Is that because you were a smooth brain kid or yes. is it like a memory issue? <laughs> a memory issue? I don't have any memory We're going issues. back you. to the illness. Oh, I... my God. And then with Three Mile Island, like I said, they noticed something was weird. They shut down the reactor. Mm-hmm. 
that was it. <laughs> Everything you hear about Three Mile Island being like, oh, a big nuclear meltdown in the United States of America. Nothing happened. I think I might be mixing it up with another thing. Is it the ones where there's like those giant reactors that kind of look like sand, glass, thing, jigs, what are they called? I have no idea what you're talking about. Hourglass. Are they, is it that or is it, or is that another place? I'd have no idea what you're talking about. You mean like what the, what the reactor looks like? Yeah. No, I don't think that's it. Okay, then I think I'm mixing it up with something else. And then also, and then another nuclear reactor people like, to, another nuclear explosion people like to point out, or nuclear meltdown people like to point out is, um, Japan had one. I don't remember, I don't remember where it was. Yes. But they had a uh, nuclear meltdown, um, that like ruined a city because it was all radiated. Mm-hmm. I want to point out. It really takes common sense not to put nuclear reactors in tsunami-prone areas. Yes. All I'm saying. Because it got, like, run over by the water, so it stopped working. It blew up. And, <laughs> and the water did not help with spreading. Or it, it helped a lot with spreading the radiation around. Yeah. Um, I remember seeing something about that. Oh, fun well. fact. You know what happens when you get super radiated? Because radiation doesn't, like, shoot you like a bullet does, Yeah, right? we're talking about health. We can talk about the health of radiation. Yes, health. radiation's not healthy. Um, <laughs> so, radiation is not like a bullet. It won't instantly kill you. It doesn't, boom, you're dead. Yeah. It's like a lot of, it's like a lot of really, really fine particles that go through your skull, through your bones, and break things down. DNA. It breaks DNA down. What is DNA? DNA is something that tells you... How... <laughs> DNA! <laughs> it's what tells you... How to build another one of you. So your skin cells. Your skin cells are made up of billions and millions and trillions of pieces of DNA that mm -hmm. will decompose. And then cells will say, actually, let's build another one of those. And that's how cancer can start. Cancer can start from um, yeah. from cells forgetting how to build yourself properly and making cancer. But anyway, D uh, radiation completely breaks down your DNA. It stops telling you how to make another one of yourself. That's how cancer is made. That's why, that's why radiation is so synonymous with cancer. Um... Let me just roll my sleeves for this one. Um, and if you get exposed to a fuck ton of radiation, what you can get is something called radiation poisoning. Mm -hmm. Radiation poisoning? It's where your entire human body forgets how to build another one of yourself, and you'll slowly wither away, hair falling out, and die. It's really, really nasty. It's like one of the worst <laughs> ways you can go out, next to, like, drowning. Oh, eh, maybe not drowning. Well, um, depending on who you ask with the drowning. People have lived for up to, like, a month decomposing because there's no way to save them yeah there's no way when your dna's dead you're dead that's it anyway that's why they allowed the old ladies to go back to the jungle because they were already so old they're like they're gonna die of old age yes. before the radiation kills them also i believe with 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 with, with, the, with the japan nuclear meltdown like i was saying um <clears throat> a lot of the volunteers were old people yeah because they're like well by the time this starts affecting me i'm gonna be dead already so it doesn't yeah. really matter um so radiation sickness is super bad, but the last time we had a case for new, for radiation radiation sickness was around the 90s. We've not had radiation poisoning in 25, 30 years. Jesus. Okay? Because we have safety measures to make sure people don't, don't get radiation poisoning, right? Yeah. So a lot of people misinterpret what radiation might do to a human body. What would you say would be like the most accurate depiction? Um, in like TVs and definitely shows. not what Chernobyl the TV, the movie series did. If you watch <laughs> Chernobyl the series, that's not what radiation sickness looks like. Um, radiation sickness looks like is you just get without going into what exactly it does. You just get really really red. Your hair falls out and you die. Yeah. Um, there's more than that. Uh, like the thing that kills you is probably internal bleeding because like organs just break down. Anyways, just explode. Yes. Um. I was gonna say, um, so yeah, last cases we had was like 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. Until the Ukraine war. Oh! So, when Chernobyl went boom, okay, a lot of the new, new, uh, particles went into the air and spread around. That's why they had to have a huge cleanup crew. A uh, cleanup effort. Yeah. But what happened is that a lot of these particles went into this, uh, a forest. The, it's now called the Red Forest because it'll fucking kill you. Mm -hmm. They could not clean up the forest because there was trees in the way. Yes. And it's really, really hard to clean up between trees. So what they did was they just left it and said, don't go in this forest until the Ukraine invasion. And then the Russians went into the forest. Yes. So the Russians went into this extremely, extremely radiated forest called the Red Forest and dug battle trenches in the irradiated ground. Ugh. That's really bad. <laughs> That's really, really bad. So... 
these Russian soldiers got irradiated really, really, really badly and didn't know it. Because, like I said, it's not a bullet. You don't get shot and know you got shot. Yeah. You walk into an area that looks totally fine, and like a week later, you start throwing up blood. Like, yeah. You're like, huh, I'm breathing a bit weird. So, the Russian soldiers... Soldiers? The Russian oh, soldiers God. invaded uh, Chernobyl, dug trenches in the dirt, which irradiated dirt, and tried to take over Chernobyl. What happened is there were scientists there that they that they took for prisoners of war. Mm-hmm. We don't know where they are even to this day. Mm. Um, <laughs> and the, the scientists probably told them, you're gonna fucking die. Yeah. You you you're super irradiated, and we know this because when when Ukraine took back over Chernobyl, they found rooms with irradiated clothes in the ground. Oh. AKA the Russian soldiers knew they were fucked, took off their clothes and took a shower, and never touched clothes again. So they knew that they were fucked. But I assume that didn't help them much. Not really. It's just to contain the clothes because you're because you're not yeah. radiated. Your clothes are. That's why they wore those. If they went down there, they would have to wear the giant suits. It, I've seen I've seen news channels go down there with like a Geiger counter and be like, "This is where the soldiers slept." Oh God. <laughs> oh God, let's get out. Yeah. Well, it's okay. <laughs> if you don't, it's it's not gonna kill the journalists. No. Uh, radiation is actually relatively pretty safe. I say that liberally. Um, Liberals. Like astronauts get exposed to an insane amount of radiation compared to what we get exposed to, but they're fine. Yeah. It's only. When you go to, it's only when you get dosed with the power of a fucking nuclear bomb is when you're fucked. Yeah, and because they dug the trenches, because the radiation like got soaked up into the ground. Yes, they just let it all out. They kind of rolled around in it. <laughs> it's it's it was as far as we know that is the only case of radiation poisoning in the past thirty five years or twenty five years. Um, thanks, Putin. Thanks, Putin. Love you, Putin. <laughs> um. I'd bang him. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, I guess this can be our last thing. Any questions for me? Little old me. Why does your forehead look like that? What is that supposed to mean? Like I said, fucking... <laughs> we should... I think nuclear reactors are fucking awesome. But we should not look at the Soviet Union, <laughs> of all people, and on like... what happens to, to nuclear reactors. They're cheapskates. I'll yeah. say that very loudly. The Soviet Union was cheapskates because they were... Because economic recession. Yeah, they had no money because everyone was like, you fucking suck. And graphite-tipped rods that make the temperature <laughs> spike and blow up. It's also really funny because everybody at Chernobyl thought that the design of reactor they had could not blow up. So there's a lot of a lot of people at, like in the Soviet Union That's who what thought, everyone thinks. It's like, oh my god. This we, ship will never sink. We, we had a new car. It will never blow up and it will and be it fine. Like the Cybertruck. Oh my god, an Allen key. Whoa, <laughs> it's a tiny Allen key. Anyway, yeah. Like the Cybertruck. Like the Cybertruck. Um, uh, but when people said, hey, our reactor blew up, a lot of Soviet Union officials were like, no, it didn't. Even though, even though they could fucking see the reactors open and blowing up. <laughs> and be like, uh, I do know recently, I say recently, it was like a decade ago, they started building something to put over what blew up. The reactor yes. in Chernobyl. So immediately following the Chernobyl explosion, a lot of workers made like a, sar- a sarcophagus to cover it up. Yeah. The sarcophagus was a good idea to contain, the, to contain the irradiation, but it was not meant to be a permanent solution. No. So what happened is over the years, weather started rusting, started breaking apart, and letting more radiation out. Mm-hmm. So Ukraine decided, okay, well this is a problem, obviously. Let's build a giant in like 2010 giant yeah. dome to slide over the reactor and seal it up, and that would be our permanent solution. And they did, and they did that. And now it's there. And now it's there. And Except Russia attacked it for some reason. Yeah, and so... Which is... Russia attacking the Chernobyl reactor, there is there is no reason for it <laughs> other than intimidation and to be dicks. Yeah. There's no reason to have Ukraine. There's no, there's no advantage to having that area. They just did that to be dicks. There's no reason yeah. for it. I know... The lady, the scientist lady in the movie I watched was like... It's the best solution we have until we can figure something out. The the first sarcophagus or the second one? The second one. The second one? It's pretty much a permanent solution until Russia blows it up. Um, <laughs> Gonna have to cut you so much of you talking about Russia now. <sighs> uh, yeah, but... Why? Did I, did, I, did I want politics? I think politics would be fine, uh, but... There it is. <laughs> I really don't like Russia attacking people. Crazy, crazy <laughs> opinion. I don't like war, personally. Oh, wow. I 